an art student worked here for a while. I liked him. He was a punk kid, just as I'd been once. Funny to see him wearing pins for bands from 20 or 30 years back that I had once seen play, and one that the band I'd managed had even opened for. I told him that, and he was quite amazed. Anyhow, we enjoyed lunch together now and again. He thought the museum was a bit ridiculous. He said when he looked at the paintings, he mostly just saw money, or more accurately, things standing in for money. I guess this was what he had learned at university. He said this was clearest in Dutch still lives, which were essentially just piled up possessions of the newly rich of that time. He said these were no different than if someone today were to paint a pile of Rolex watches champagne bottles and the flat screen TV, that they were the rap star videos of their day. And he said they were only less subtle versions of all the other commodities the museum was hoarding. And this was now just part of the way things were disguised in the time of late capitalism. He didn't hold it against the museum personally, but he went on like that. I asked why he always used the term late capitalism and how people knew it was so late, and if it wasn't perhaps more troublesome, if what existed now was early. He knew a lot more than me, having studied these things, but he didn't seem to have an answer for that. He was also unhappy about the cost of museum admission. I agreed it would be nicer if it was free, but he was a big fan of the movies, and I had to remind him they cost as much, and he didn't complain about that. Yeah, you can't win, he said, but maybe someday everyone will lose less and museums and movies could both be free. We got to wondering how museums began, and he looked it up and was pleasantly surprised to report that because of the French Revolution, the Louvre became what is considered to be one of the first truly public art museums, made with the idea that art should be accessible to the people, not just tied up in the private rooms of the rich. Anyhow, he was a good kid, really, and I'm sorry he moved on. Worshipping the sun god. At this point, unfortunately, the scroll has been 